The new school year is less than a month away and that means parents will be doing back to school shopping soon. Bar Patty Asa catches up with how some in the border city are doing with their list and what hot ticket items people are grabbing for this school year. Oh, we still need to get clothes, of course, for the boys. Um, what else do we have to get? School supplies. We need some, some of that. Clothing and the whole list. <laughs> I got the backpack, so. Well, this is my first year. She's going to preschool this year. We need a new sneakers and some clothes. Huh? And a, do we get you a backpack? From backpacks and binders to shoes and clothes, local parents are wrapping up their back-to-school shopping. And depending what's on the list, it can be quite costly. According to a recent study by Visa, Canadians are cutting back on their back-to-school budgets. But it's a different story in the border city, according to this employee. Not really. Uh, I mean, maybe part of that is living in Lloydminster, but uh, you know, this is a booming economy. We're a busy town, uh, and uh, you know, we're seeing uh, increases every year. Barry McKitchen says back-to-school sales are still strong at this location. Now, what are the hot items for this back to school season? Well, those at Future Shop tell us this year's big things come in small packages. Extremely fast. Uh, it's got a quad core processor, so you're starting to see processors and phones that are rivaling what you see in laptops. From student friendly smartphones to tablets. It lets you do everything from Microsoft Office documents like Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Gives you great battery life, uh, enough to get you through a full school day. McKitchen says portable technology is the biggest trend this year. They're only going to get more powerful. They're only going to become more and more capable. Um, the app stores that are available uh, on any platform are, are just increasing in their robustness and availability. So just see a uh, continual movement that direction. And as computers get smaller, so do their price tags. And that's good news for price conscious parents. We do have some laptops that are, you know, you'll be pushing the $2,000 mark. But for most people, you can find a great computer that's going to do everything you want to do right around that five, six, seven hundred dollar range. Now, this preschooler may be a little young for laptops and cell phone shopping, but her mom's eager all the same. It is pretty exciting. It's actually a little nervous that she's going back to school, and but it's exciting. I remember going back to school shopping with my mom. Bart Podiasik, Newcap News. In this week's pet project, Graham and Jenny introduce us to a two-year-old dog named Edgar and a cuddly cat named Izzy, both of them looking for their forever homes. Okay, are you ready? Sit. Oh, <gasps> good boy! This is Edgar. He is a two-year-old mixed breed with beautiful coloring. He is up to date on vaccinations, but he is not yet neutered, and he will be microchipped before he leaves the SPCA. Edgar is a really lovable dog. He's great to walk on a leash, and he also shows to do well with other dogs. Edgar, being only two years old, has a lot of energy, and so all that energy here in the SPCA does cause him a little bit of stress. But once you get him into an area out of his kennel for some one-on-one -on -one time, he comes right down and he's the perfect dog. Edgar's just looking for a family that can give him lots of love, help him gain a little weight, and also work on his basic commands. If you think that Edgar is the perfect dog for you, come on down to the SPCA. This is Izzy. She's a two-year-old tortoiseshell cat. She is updated on vaccinations, microchipped, spayed, and she's also declawed. Izzy is a very cuddly cat. She loves attention and she's pretty relaxed most of the time, but she definitely does have some bursts of energy where she likes to play. Izzy would be a great fit for any home. The SPCA is currently taking foster applications. If you're interested in being a foster, please fill out a foster application form available at the SPCA or also on our website, www.lloydminsterspca.org.